here. Why don't we bring up Jock and Rick? Come on up, guys. Big round of applause for the customers. Jack, all right, all right. Welcome, Rick. Let's we'll see you. Great to see you. Let's see you. guys are here, Wayne. We got it. So while he's doing that, Jack, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who you work for? Well, I'm Jacques Tayus. Uh, I work for Cap Gemini. Um, five years into an amazing adventure over there. Hey, I heard a Cap Gemini shout out out there. You got to do it more boldly if you're doing it than that. Woo! Come on! Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, what was it? Five years. Five years. Um, I'm a, yep, I'm a senior delivery manager and uh, working with clients, helping them through their IT transformation. Yeah, you guys have got a really, really funky environment. So tell us a little bit. Absolutely. About this. this is a really interesting example. So, I would venture to say that we probably have one of the larger digital asset management solutions in North America. How, how big is big? Um, multi petabytes. I walked you through it. Uh, EMC has been our partner the whole time, all the way through the beginning. We're about two years into this thing. Our front end ingest layer, about two petabytes of Isilon storage, two separate clusters. Any Isilon customers out there? Woo! <laughs> scale out! <laughs> Come on! All right. Right, right below our ingest layer, uh, we move into the transcoding and packaging layer. We have multiple NS960s, uh, another couple of petabytes right there. Unbelievable, awesome. Yeah. Oh, absolutely amazing. And, and, and you guys use VMware too? I love the Puppet Lab shirt. That's nice. Nigel, you are the man. Hey, do we have Puppet Lab shirts for everybody? No? <laughs> oh, this is a reminder for me to take this home to the Pat Gemini Swiss Admins. Yeah, there you go. So you, get, you guys using VMware as well? Absolutely. Um, we're, we're probably, with every one of our clients, we're pushing virtualization. Um, the ROI for it is just amazing. And so, as, and this is a good segue, obviously a customer and also Capgemini, a huge partner. That's right. Uh, and taking the solutions out to our joint customers, which is also a great intro for Rick from Deloitte. So why don't you tell us a little bit about you, Rick? Thanks, sir. Yeah, I'm Rick Clark. Uh, I'm actually the national director for the alliance with EMC, have been for the past six years. Uh, we're both a customer and a business partner, and uh, we've been very excited with the relationship and the way it's been growing in the past six years. Huge, huge use of technology from EMC, yep. from VMware. I mean, literally... The litany, yeah, we're, we're a large consumer. Our, our whole internal IT is all virtualized, everything, completely volume state. And on the back end, we've, we're deploying to our auditors so basically a documentum based uh, auditor solution. I know a lot of customers don't really like that, but hey, it's, it's, a great, uh, it's a great thing for us to automate the, the, the process and the flow across the enterprise globally. So literally, I think he's, he's being, you're being a little modest, my friend. Yeah. So, so, like, you know, their scale of their infrastructure is ginormous, right? Obviously, each one of you have got customers in turn who use all of the technology that we've got. You guys are also doing something with Green Plum too, right? Yeah, we're actually working with Green Plum in a federal plant. Uh, we're deploying it, and we're also going after a couple other clients uh, to host it. We're hosting it in our federal labs, and then we'll be deploying it on UCS in our uh, SpecNet Center, which is in Pennsylvania. So we'll be bringing it up there for proof of concepts and using it for development site for customers. Mm -hmm. That's production. That is awesome. So let's see, Wade, right? So operating at very, very large scale, the both of you, right, and helping customers build clouds as well as build their own, right? Infrastructure as a service, hey, clouds are cool. We've talked about how we could use, uh, you know, Puppet and Razor to automate all of that stuff. But look, uh, maybe what we should do is talk about how you could build platform as a service at the kind of scales like you guys are talking about. Mm -hmm. So why don't we take a quick look at a quick demonstration and you guys can get an idea of what we're talking about here. So I'm going to log into this uh, UI. It's nice and it's simple, right? And uh, if you guys noticed that we've been demonstrating all sorts of EMC storage arrays that can actually run compute on them? Have you guys started to notice that? Some interesting stuff. We did at VMworld, EMC World last year, Isilon clusters. We'll come back to that in a second, right? So let's just say that it's running ESX, and we've got all of these individual VMs on there, right? So on top of this infrastructure, we've got our virtualized footprint. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into the Fabric App Director. The vFabric application director is really, really cool. It can allow you to deploy all sorts of applications with all sorts of 
deep customizations within the individual uh, build of the, of the OS, and you can actually blend together different sort of app environments on the fly. Now, one of the things I'm going to do here is I'm going to start to deploy all of the stuff that's in the vFabric portfolio of VMware. So, you remember Paul Moritz talked about all of that stuff about application transformation, new frameworks, and all that stuff. And here I'm going to go and I'm going to deploy it on top of this very large-scale cloud infrastructure that we're going to use to run everything on top of it. So here it's deploying these full cloud foundry stack, in essence, right? So everything that you need to deploy any sort of new application. And in just a few minutes, basically, we've built a platform as a service that you could use within your own enterprise or within, you know, uh, a customer's enterprise. Yeah. Is it shippable? Well, so something big like this would be, you know, big. So it would be hard to ship, right? Yeah, it would be. So... What, should we do the reveal? Did anyone notice what the screen was that we put up in the first place? Hmm, you can probably see where I'm going with this. Hey, Chad, but that's good. Well, let's take a look. <laughs> Dude, if I'm going to this, it's going to take me a while. I'm going to have to, like, get a crew. Crack it open. Trust me, Wayne. You sure? Absolutely, man. All right. Let's see here. What do we have? And, of course... Oh, hey, wait a second. That's not that big. We can run this entire environment while it's also providing the storage. This is an iOmega PX12, right? Running the latest Intel Ivy Bridge processors. It's the first storage array in the market that does this. It costs less than 10K, right? So it's simple, easy for customers of every shape and size. You can put solid state in there. It supports, you know, it's designed to support very large drives, 10 gigabit Ethernet. And in case you didn't see it, within the UI, there's a little button that says, I would like to run VMs on it. How cool is that? Ooh, that's cool or what? Now that I can ship. So, this, and by the way, in the demonstration, which actually is running on this thing, this is actually the whole uh, main data center running on this little Mac Mini. So we've got the VMs in the remote site running here on the iX12, and we have our primary data center like this. So, so what do you guys think? Slick, slick, a good fit for you? Can I place an order for a thousand? <laughs> You know what? Maybe I'll ship one just to your house as a thank you yeah. for for joining us and be willing guests. I, I, I could replace my house line. Customers with that, but it is slick. It's not designed for that uh, multi terabyte, multi petabyte scale, yeah. but maybe a little bit smaller. Sure. Hey guys, thank, thank you, you so much for being great customers, thank you. great partners, thank you. for being willing guests here on Chad's World. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.